Hey guys, it's Brian again, and uh, I figured I'd do something tonight. A couple people were asking about this, so I'd um, finally do it. This is <clears throat> this is most of my guitar collection. Um, there's a, a couple that I have in the shop right now, getting some adjustments made, and uh, there's a couple I won't pull out just because. Um, they're a copy of the same one, just a different color, and I'll explain that later. And then uh, there's just one that I, uh, I do not uh, uh, pull out hardly ever, just just because uh, from uh, from my ex-wife, and uh, still a little bit painful, you know, to uh, have that one out. So I mean, I've got a review on it on here. If you want to see it, you can look it up. It's a, a '50s tribute. Gibson Les Paul. So, anyway, um, so like I said, here's most of what I got, and I apologize. I keep kind of a messy room, so uh, let's get started real quick. All right. Hopefully that's coming through. All right. Uh, this is number one of my. I've got two really old guitars in my collection. These, I call these my Doctor Who guitars because they're at least 50 years old or getting very close. Uh, this is the uh, 3 pickup uh, Tisco. Uh, got those cool uh, uh, metal pickups, uh, push button controls. Um, this is a neat guitar but it's extremely hard to play because that's the it's got the thickest neck on it of uh, any guitar I've got. It's like a baseball. I've heard of baseball bat necks, and that's definitely one. And then uh, the pickups are pretty weak, so not a lot of output. It's kind of a glassy sounding uh, sound you get out of it. So really, this is really a um, better guitar for playing slide, probably. Also, it seems like it's a, a longer scale on the neck, so it's getting close to feeling like a bass, almost. But, um, good guitar. Uh, next to it, I've got my... There's my two pickup uh, Barclay. Also in the same age range. Approximately 45, 50 years old, something like that. Um, that was a find off of Craigslist locally. Both of these are Japan made guitars. Uh, oldest things I have I really need to get cases for them. This isn't a good storage method for any guitar. I don't recommend it, but <laughs> that's what I got right now. So uh, I'll try and get some cases one of these days. So uh, back over here in the corner, that is my Rogue Mandolin. It was a gift to me uh, a couple years back. I uh, like to play mandolin once in a while. It's a nice change of pace. Okay, now here's what I was talking about. Bad storage method. Don't recommend this. Check it out. I got a corner full of guitars with no cases. So, that's uh, not a good thing. But do this pretty quick. I don't think there's a lot of light in here, is there? Right, we'll try it like this. Okay, that's my uh, Silvertone Rocket. It's kind of like my go-to uh, around the house for stuff to play. Just if I'm just playing and not doing anything else, that's kind of go-to. There's my Squire Bullet Series Strat. Uh, only one I've found, and I've tried lots of strats, only one I've found that I like the feel of it and the sound of it. And uh, as Jeff Beck said, there's about a thousand variations on the same thing, and he's right. Uh, okay. I know that one's not showing up because it's black. Okay. BC Rich Avenge. With the uh, wicked inlays and headstock. Mm. Well, 
realize how, tr how much trouble this is going to be. All right. Back there. It's my 1970s Harmony. Good guitar, but again, it's one of those that... Um, kind of a weird neck and uh, probably better for slide okay uh, 1970s okay you can see things a little bit better in this light so the ones I've talked about already the silver tone DC rich D skill Barclay Squire okay this is the Port, 1970s. Um, best, best I can gather. I've only seen one other online, and they called it a dealer sample. So that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, kind of a three-quarter size guitar, almost shaped like a Mustang, and a similar pickup configuration. Um, very powerful pickups, high output, and that neck, don't let that fool you, it's not a Strat neck, it's like a Les Paul, that thick. Um, very good little guitar, got a little bit of problem with the uh, pickup switching right now, but high output for a, a little guitar. Okay, on to some better things. Okay, here we go. That's the... 70s lawsuit era aria uh, a1932 also uh, you know it's an sg copy really good guitar probably easily one of my favorites i really like that one next to it i've got my masada lawsuit era uh, les paul copy with the cream colored humbuckers and both of those are made in Japan really good stuff okay getting into uh, some pricier stuff my 2013 uh, Gibson uh, Captain Kirk Douglas really cool 